everybody, and welcome to Awesome Comics, your one-stop shop for everything comic book entertainment. I am your host, Walter Bernasiak, and today is a special bonus episode. We are talking about Season 3 of Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., and we have two regular guests, but they're special to me. Oh, I'll start with you on the right. Is this Agent Simmons? What's going on? Exactly! That's who I am. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Her, something's weird with her accent, but yes. <laughs> okay. Let me know your real name by now. <laughs> who are you? Brian Porter. Brian Porter. I'm Walter Panese, because I said before, let's repeat stuff. Okay, so if you didn't see earlier this week on Monday, we came out with our uh, review for DC's Legends of Tomorrow Season 1, so make sure you go check that out. That also has a different pick of the week on it, our comic book pick of the week, so make sure you check that out. And then come back to see Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 3. Yep. Okay, overall, uh, what are our thoughts on the third season of the show? It's been going pretty strong, I think, for three seasons now. Uh, I think most people are on board with it. After the first season, people were kind of iffy on it, and then Civil War, I mean not Civil War, but uh, Winter Soldier came out, and that changed the landscape of things, and people I think have been on board for the most part since then. So what do you guys think overall of season three? Yeah, Diana? I was gonna say it's been going strong for two seasons. Right, yeah. season I, I like one, season one. I dropped oh, yeah. off after, and then picked it back up. I liked it. Um, I was okay with it. I mean, there were some slow parts, but I, I stuck with it, so. Season three was a heck of a roller coaster <clears throat> for me, you guys. As you can see, my favorite, character is Simmons and Fitz no. Simmons forever, my OTP. I love them. And who oh boy, it was a rough <laughs> one, guys. <laughs> I didn't know if I was going to make it through the season because if some things happen, I didn't know if I'd be okay with the season four, but I'm obviously okay with season four. So spoilers. I love them. Spoilers. And good yeah, so. sorry. Spoilers. spoilers for this. Sorry. I forgot to mention it last time. <laughs> spoilers for this entire season. <laughs> now, yep. go ahead. They end up together and go to Bangtown. <laughs> <laughs> Go to Bank Town. Mm -hmm. Population them, right? Two. Two. Right. Over Three if you're kinky. Oh. But, uh, no, it's wow. two. We went it's Fitz and Simmons only. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm Get sorry. out of here. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I love the season. It's gotten a lot better every season. It's just it's just expanding on the everything good and just making yeah. it even better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of roller coaster ride for this season. A lot of like ups and downs for right. various characters and story arcs. Um, I like the revenge play with um, Coulson and Ward. Uh, I like how they kind of like brought Ward back as Hive. Thought that was really cool. Yes, I love Fitz and Simmons finally getting together. I agree. I I was telling him if they died in the season finale, I would have stopped watching. I would have stopped watching. Would you? Really? I would have stopped. I would have stopped so watching pissed. straight up. I would have been so yeah. pissed. Yeah, they were. Oh my goodness! I just wanted to hug her like the whole time. <laughs> there was some rough stuff. I was worried about after season two and what that they were gonna do season three, and then I thought, oh no, they'll save her really fast, and then yeah. they didn't, and I was like, you guys, <laughs> it's, <laughs> yep. it's really hard. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Right. I loved all the stuff on the uh, um, other planet. Like that one episode was just Simmons. Yeah. Was fantastic. Right. Um, Four thousand seven hundred twenty-two hours. Mm -hmm. yeah. Great episode. Episode. And no one lost their arm. Thank God. I was a little worried by the title. <laughs> right. A little bit. A little bit. But no, that was a really good change of pace for the, the series, I think. That was a very unique episode. You got to see all of Mavith, I think was the name of the... Mavith? Mavith was the name of the planet. Yeah. But it was, yeah, it was a really different kind of episode for S.H.I.E.L.D. And we got to see Simmons go through all that stuff by herself. It was very interesting and a good yeah. character building for her. Definitely. Yeah, she got some good character stuff. Yeah, going on. May got some good character stuff, too. She's been getting some good character stuff. They, like, downplayed it a little more in this season. She kind of took more yeah, of the Yeah, I was going to say she, she but, did. But, like, her as an actress is amazing, and she has some really good action in this season. Ming Na Wen's like, awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she's fantastic. The yeah. ageless wonder, Ming Na Wen. <laughs> yeah, oh, my right? goodness, yes. <laughs> 52, 53. Which is old, so apparently. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't know 52 was <clears throat> so old. Referencing Aunt May, but anyway... <laughs> Um, so, okay, what were some of you guys' favorite stuff from the season? What, like, I know you said Fitz and Simmons. Anything mm -hmm. else that really, like, drew you into this season? Uh, definitely not Ward, because I want to punch him in the face. Well, that's good. He's a good no, heel. But exactly. He actually, like, as an actor, has been really great this season. We were talking a little bit, uh, the way that he's able to play the other characters while I love as that. I've, yeah. you know. That was pretty cool. Um, Big props to him for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was, and you could tell what was going on, including like the later episode with the memory machine and stuff. Yeah. He has some cool stuff with that as well. Mm -hmm. um, but still, still want to punch him in the face because it's you a punchable face. You should want to punch him. I know. Face. Still going to do it though. Gonna still going to punch him. Gonna punch him. I, I did like too, Coulson this season had some really cool stuff that he had to work through because he finally got to crush Ward. Yeah, <laughs> literally. But then he still yeah. was around. 
Yeah. But that's good, because acting, anyways. Yeah. Right. I liked uh, Coulson's story arcs too, especially with that one chick that he was, uh, the, I can't remember her name. Um, from the ATC. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah right. uh, I like that, like her getting shot and, you know, uh, him dealing with that. It was out of nowhere, too, because it was in, like, the first minute of the episode. Yeah, and I was like, is boom. this a dream sequence? Oh, my like, God, this what? is real. Yeah, and then yeah. him dealing with that, and then mm -hmm. his rage, unbridled rage, and how they dealt with his hand. They referenced it. Great I love stuff. how he had the axe. Mounted on his wall. Yeah. I thought that was great. Absolutely. A lot of cool touches with the hand and what they were able to do with that. Agreed. Uh, Sky or uh, Daisy, Daisy, whatever you want to call her. Um, well, she would like she was Daisy cool. now, please. Um, for the most part, <laughs> yeah. I think the show is very focused on her every single season, yeah. which is a little bit of a detriment, but she exactly. still, it flowed well and everybody else had their own time. I really liked um, Bobby and Hunter. Their exit, I was gonna say, uh, is very emotional. Great. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Especially yeah. with Mac and the tears, it was just yes. oh yeah, no. more than I thought. I mean, I I like those characters, but mm -hmm. I wasn't like super invested in Hunter and Bobby. But when like their exit was handled so well that you really felt like these people were losing their friends, they're probably not gonna ever see them again. Yeah, yeah. they really played that up really well. Yeah, I, I, there was some water work on there. Their relationship messy. in general was kind of awesome. I yeah, liked it. I liked it. Their back and forth. Yeah, was cool. back and forth. I liked. Yeah. Yeah. Hunter's a great character. He's just really funny and <laughs> impulsive yes. and just and a little. Annoying, but like the good kind of annoying. Right, right. Where you like stop talking, keep, keep talking. Keep talking. Because <laughs> it's funny. What right. It? Um, to piggyback about what you said about Hive and stuff, I think Brent. I think people when they look at this season, I I think they should. But he might be looked over. Uh, Brett Dalton as as Ward slash Hive. He really he changed everything. Yeah. I mean his speech patterns. It just his whole aura, like how he stood, everything was completely different for Hive than it was for Ward. And you, it's totally believable from the first second you see him that this is a completely different character. Right. And it was just done so well by him. I really wanted to give big props to Brett, uh, Brett Dalton for that. They got that. the sweet yeah. Matrix jacket. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the Matrix thing going on. Yeah, I, thought that yeah. too. <laughs> I thought that too. Every entrance, I was like, get it. <laughs> get it. Also, we got the, there was one of the fight sequences, um, I can't think of the character's name, but we got some of the metahuman stuff going on that was really cool, and we mm. got the Ghost Ridery chain thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah right, right, Torch right. or something like that, or what? Was, I, what I can't was, remember. The Aussie, I mm -hmm. thought he was great. Um, he, he Blowhard, was, I think they, because they kept calling him Blowhard. I don't know if that was his real name or not. Nah, but he was, he was pretty cool, because yeah, uh, I kind of didn't expect him to really come back once we like met him, so right, that was yeah. kind of a fun little pop I like the chain, up. yeah, he was funny. He's well, also really annoying. Yeah, I, I liked his banter with May. And yeah, yeah, that totally was, played him. Right, in the, great. In the yeah. bar or whatever. Yeah. That, that was, was so funny. That was fantastic uh, stuff. May. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. So awesome. Got to see some Kree, which was dope. I like yes. seeing the Kree. Yeah, we got to see some actual Kree come out and fight Hive and stuff. That was really yeah. cool. How did you guys like Lash? I, thought, I loved it. I thought Lash was really cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, you know what? The one thing I wish, it was a great reveal when the, the helicopter, not the helicopter, but the, the uh, plane opens mm -hmm. and Lash is there to fight Hive at one of the last episodes. I was like, oh, it's about yeah. to go down. And you can see that Hive was like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, that was great. I wish that they would have had a little bit more, a bigger fight there. You know I what did I mean? too. Yeah. That, yeah. I kind of felt the same you way. I knew as soon as he dies. walked out, I was like, oh, he's so dead. Even if he dies, though, I thought that it no, would have been yeah. cool to go on. Like, it should have been a big fight and it kind of just whimpered out a little bit. Yeah. I thought it was a little weird that he, like, talked and said, like, one line and then died. I was like, we could have gathered those pieces by ourselves. <laughs> That yeah, was like, but that's like nitpicking at this point. But. Yeah, yeah, he could have grunted and kind of yeah, like, right. you know. yeah. But it was a great reveal, I think, uh -huh. for sure. Yeah, I, uh, I really liked too how Daisy got to go through like the withdrawal thing, and we got to see like that I as was, a victim. I thought that was really interesting character. -wise. Right, I was really mad at first. Mm -hmm. I was like, she would not do that. But then like the, how they went on about it, like addiction stuff. It's like, right. okay, yeah. I, I, I liked can buy it. That a lot. Yeah, actually. I can buy it. It was a little weird. I get it. It was. I agree with him. It was a mm -hmm. little weird. We were watching it, and I'm just like. Eh. Okay. Mm -hmm. It didn't match up. Hive's a hell of yeah. a drug, man. Hive's a hell of a drug. <laughs> um, Don't do it. Not even once. Right. Um, uh, one, one thing I really did like was uh, actually Hive. I love mm -hmm. the way he looked. Mm -hmm. I wish we would have had more. Uh, you know, Brett Dalton was awesome, but I wanted more Hive. Like, he looked He was only there for the ass. second half of the season, so, I mean, he wasn't the villain. But, like, but like seeing actual Hive without the, the Brett. Oh, you hive? mean, the, yeah. Yeah. The, yeah, he did look great. Yeah, yeah his the, actual the Hive, like, Right. Awesome. I was like, damn, I wish we would have gotten I at least kinda, three episodes of I like episodes when they cut budget, that man. down. Exactly. I like when they cut it down and use it very minimally so mm -hmm. then it doesn't have to get cheesy because then they have to cut back on Sunday. Right. Yeah. The little conversation with Coulson was really bit. cool. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I liked that a lot. Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah, I liked I, the 3D animation suit with Fitz. Fitz gets some really cool, like, yeah. just random toys he gets he just, to play with uh, all the time, uh, the whole time. Uh, right. And in that little suit, that was great. Yeah. That was super great. I totally agree with you guys. Yeah. <laughs> anything that uh, you thought kind of missed the mark this season? Anything big that were negatives for you guys? 
Um, yeah, that I can think of. I mean, I think it tied in well with the movie in general. Yeah, of course, right. Coulson is Team Cap. Like, let's obviously, course, yeah. obviously. Like, because Team Cap's the way to go. Sorry, mm. but also, you know, it's Cap. Yeah, <laughs> right. Uh, I don't like the Daisy thing. Kind of got like marginally annoying because like it's always so Daisy centric and mm-hmm. Daisy's love and Daisy's this and Daisy's her, blah. Her reasoning behind stuff is kind of frustrating too, especially this season. But in general, she kind of is a brat sometimes with her reasoning behind things because she sort of goes, "You guys are wrong. Here's my reasoning." And even if some other people sometimes might be in the wrong, sometimes I'm like. Just stop and uh, listen to what they're saying. They, right. they have reasons behind what they're saying. So every once in a while, especially this season, that kind of got on my nerves where right. I, I just wanted to be like, shh, shh, shh. Right. <laughs> stop, stop. Just listen. But now, I mean, with her going forward, I don't know what they're going to be doing. because I didn't six like months, that. That six-month jump. Ju- and six months ahead, we, it's established that Coulson's no longer the director right. of S.H.I.E.L.D. Right. And uh, obviously they've grown since then. Mm-hmm. And Daisy's basically on the run. Quake yeah, is like and she's got right. this weird Fugitive. gothic <laughs> yeah, that was, style. Uh, I, I was like, really what? She's in hiding. I don't yeah. think they're going to keep yeah. it. Maybe they'll right. chop off her hair. I don't know. We'll oh, see. well, going exactly. back to Quake, you know. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Who's Quake? I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> um, but yeah, I didn't really like that part. And uh, hopefully next season they... Right. Scale back on some Daisy stuff. And, mm-hmm. you know. I got you. And focus on some more characters. Yeah. All right, we, we're going to have to... Uh, uh, wrap this up really quick. Are you guys excited for season four? Absolutely. Yes. Yes, I'm excited to see where that goes. It's too. getting better, so I think we're going to see some cool stuff. And there's yeah. more expansions. I'm sure more yeah. characters will come in. Very excited about that. More Fitzsimmons. Yeah. More Fitzsimmons. Really quickly, we have a little bit of a pick of the half week. Half, for you guys. Yeah, we get extra pick of the week, you guys. Um, so we have Agents of Shield, the comic, uh, out now this year. So go check it out. I love this cover. This is uh, issue two. Um, Coulson has abs in this. I know Walter's super stoked <laughs> about weird. that. Yeah, yeah. Um, also, I don't super like what's going on with Fitz and May. Talk to me about it, because let's be real, it's Fitz and Simmons. Uh, but in general, I really like Coulson in this, and I really like that I can read everything in their voices. Yeah. I definitely, once once watching the show and now reading this, it's really interesting to see like how your brain can do that. That's cool stuff. Uh, go check, out, check it out. It's some cool artwork, some cool stories going on. We get to see some extra stuff. Yeah. Okay, cool. Michelle. All right, well, um, where can we get, find you guys on the social media? We're going to have to wrap this up right now, Porter. Uh, Facebook.com slash Awesome Porter. You know, talk to me. Send me a message. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. Talk to me. Yeah, talk to me. You? On Facebook and Twitter, as always. Come talk to me about Fitzsimmons. Uh, only if you like them, because if <laughs> not, we'll fight. <laughs> right. <laughs> you can find me on Twitter at Awesome underscore Walter. Go ahead and give us all a follow. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this little mini review of... Uh, of Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 3. Like I said, go back and check out DC's Legend of Tomorrow, Season 1 review that we did on Monday. Um, Also, make sure you stick around for next week because we will be talking about The Flash Season 2. We're all really excited to talk about The Flash. And we'll also be reviewing X-Men Apocalypse. So come back for that. And uh, until next time, I'm Walter Bernasiak, and for these lovely people here, we will see you on the next page.